Hello again, welcome back. This is beer number 98 and it's from my Brew Republic box. And it's from a brewery called XT Brewing. And I think they're in Long Crendon in Buckinghamshire in England. So this is a, it's called Three West Coast IPA. It's what, four and a half percent, something like that? Four point two percent. We don't seem to get very strong beers here. I don't know why. A lot of session ales. Anyway, let's crack it open and see what it's like. Just a plain yellow cap. It's got writing on it. I think it might be the best before date. Yeah, the best before the 5th of August 21. This is July 14th. I'll just check that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what year it is. But... Mm, lovely golden amber colour. Let's get a wee bit of gas at the end there. I'll just ring the ball out. There we go. Three. Nice label. Simple branding. Easy to spot on the shelf. Get all the compensation off my hands. Let's have a wee look at the colour. Yeah, it's like a, a, a golden amber. Yeah, very nice. It's clear. Very little carbonation. Fingernail, a thin interrupted head. Let's have a wee look, see what it smells like. Release the aromas. It's more malty than hoppy. Let's see what she tastes like. Oh yeah. Yeah, you are getting that, that bitterness at the end. Although, I think the, the IBUs, it's only... Well, it doesn't say, it doesn't say on here, but... Uh, three XD West Coast IPA alcohol four point two percent Chinook Cascade and Columbus hops. Three an American style IPA packed with Chinook Columbus and Cascade hops from the American Northwest, crisp, clean, refreshing with a lasting hoppy bite. Yeah, that's very nice that, actually. We'll go through tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. I'm just going to have a quick look on Untapped. Yeah, it's uh, IBU's not available. 2,785 check-ins, average score 3.46. Uh, it says here, an IPA style beer made with lots of cellia. Columbus and Cluster Hops on Vienna Malts. And you on the bottle it says Chinook, Columbus and Cascade. So, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I would imagine the bottle's more likely to be correct. S style descriptors, hoppy, light, dry, fruity, smooth. Anyway, the sheet, colours first, that's probably a 12, something like that, going by, yeah, something like that, I don't know what the descriptor is for that, deep, deep amber or something, <laughs> dark amber, uh, the clarity is clear, colour of foam head retention is very poor, 
the foam texture's thin. Carbonation's slow, there is some slow rising bubbles. The aroma, alcohol. I'm not getting a great deal, I can never detect that. The hops. I'm getting a bit of fruitiness there, there's no citrus. Uh, I'm not getting any pine or... No. Uh, the hops, the malt, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit uh, caramel. Uh, the esters, it's like a dark fruit type, maybe raisin or plum, that's the, the kind of thing. It's, I'm surprised, maybe it's just me that's confused. Uh, Flavour and aftertaste, alcohol, <laughs> not detectable. The hot flavour, I'm going to say fruity. What else? Yeah, there is that fruity, like, uh, like, uh, I don't know, maybe plums or something like that. It's, it's very nice, it's very smooth. It's fairly full bodied, medium to full, surprisingly. The hot bitterness is restrained. The malt flavour is like the caramel, almost pruney. The malt sweetness, I would say low to medium. Palate astringency is low, the body's it's quite. It's like this. Medium to full bodied, it's quite a bit of weight there. Yeah. I can't decide. Drying to soft is a bit. <laughs> Palate carbonation is fairly low. The length, I'm still getting that. That bitter, bitterness at the end as well, it's lovely. I'm going to say it's long. Balance and drinkability desirable. Style, I'll say appropriate, but I don't know if that's a West Coast IP or not. I've not got enough uh, experience to judge. I've only got a couple of IPAs left in my, my IPA list box. Uh, I've got what? No, I've got, I think I've got another four or something like that. And then I, I don't know what to go on to after that. I've got a Sours box, I've got a Stouts and Porters box, I've got a Lagers box, and I've got a mixed box. So like It's got like bitter, uh, English bitter, style bitter, uh, Scotch ales, uh, some barley wine in there, a variety that doesn't fit into the pale ales or the or the laggers or the I think there's some the saisons and things like that in there as well. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, uh, out of ten, I would give that an eight out of ten. So it's maybe eight, eight and a half actually. It's very nice beer. Uh, three. So that came in my Brew Republic box and I think I've only got two more cases from them before they, they close their doors as they say. Oh well. Yeah, nice and malty smelling. It's a, it's a confusing beer that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hot pot. Ta ta for now. Cheers my dears. Thumbs up. Very nice.